This is an example application to show you how you can use QuickBase Sync to pull information from email. Like for instance, if you had a Gmail account, any emails that would come into a particular folder or filtered would be uh, able to be pulled into QuickBase and be represented here. And, uh, and likewise, over here on the Exchange side, if you were to have an email into your Exchange email, that would also replicate itself in here. So let's go into Gmail records, which we don't have any. It's because I haven't refreshed this yet. Now let's go over to my email. I know I've got this one email, and now I've got another one uh, that I just sent to myself here, hoping I have a great day. Um, so I now have two emails over here. So let's go back over to Gmail, and I'm going to refresh the data. So in a second, I'll show you how we set up the configuration so that you can actually do that with uh, any of your Gmail or Exchange emails. And the process lends itself to, to both. So now here, as it's refreshed, I've got, hope you have a great day, Kirk. So I've got links to the email if I wanted to click. Uh, now it's asking me to log into my Gmail. Now you're seeing it actually in my Gmail rather than in my mail client, which I was using before. And, uh, and so that's, that's uh, a really wonderful um, function to be able to um, pull that data in. Um, let's take a look at how um, we actually did that. Um, Exchange works the exact same way. Um, what I've done with Exchange is, is that only a particular folder of my email will show up here. So if I come back over to uh, my Outlook, for instance, and I go into um, um, some information in here under Customers and under Accolades, I might take and drag this into this folder up here. You can see Archive 2017. Now that email is, is uh, now deposited in there. So let's go back over here to um, our sync and we'll refresh the data. So what this is doing is going out and doing the exact same thing, only this one has a filter in it that says only let me see those that are represented in the Archive 2017 folder. You can set up all kinds of other conditions. If it's from John, if it uh, has uh, the word Smith in it, uh, any kind of filtering that you'd like to do like that, you can and then extract that email and actually represented it or archive it again inside of QuickBase. So what do we have in here? It says the data has been refreshed. You don't have any records yet. A lot of the time is because I did this here, I did not send and receive. So my server didn't know that that happened. That's a very, a very um, um, common uh, question here. So now that we've gone through this process of, of, of sending and receiving, and I'm told uh, sync is pending for this folder. All folders are up to date. Now when I come back here and do this and refresh the data, you'll see that that record actually gets pulled in and is here. Now in real life, you probably would set the frequency to happen automatically. So you can set sync to be able to sync um, down to the hour if you wish to, or every 12 hours or whatever it is, and then that will take this. Application-wise, you may use this. There's that uh, email, by the way. And so I've got emails from Gmail as well as Exchange um, records here. Let's create one. I want to show you how to create a connected table. So we come over to here. And I'm going to call this uh, Gmail2. Gmail2. And each uh, that'll be the name of the record, and and I'll just call these rec a record, and then say next. So it says which source do you want? You can see I've got Exchange or Gmail. I'm going to do Gmail. And now this all this is is if you're going to create your first one, you're going to be using this here, and you'll put your username and password into Gmail, so we have authority to be able to go in and do this. Uh, I'm going to use the existing one that exists. And then it says, well, let's see um, what the information you want to pull over. So do you have it from um, inbox, things that are starred, things that are important in your send mail, drafts, all mail. So you can go right down and create all kinds of folders, but narrow in on just the ones. In this one, I'm going to just use the inbox. 
then it says, well, these are all the fields that are available. Do you want this one over here? Do you want this one? Uh, you can click in there and say Control A, highlight them all and drag them all over here and then say next and then you can set the frequency or the filtering so if you said only show me those where the from uh, contains uh, uh, Tracy that'll only pull over emails that are from Tracy uh, so if the subject contains something uh, is uh, exact this is a very powerful way of filtering the information um, so I'm gonna leave this filter off for the time being um, it says uh, make my table match exactly. There are two different options here. The first one will replicate what's in your email. If you delete your email, it'll delete it in here. If you want to keep this like in an archive fashion, any email, then this will be kept even though you erase it from your inbox of your email. And then of course you can set your frequency of how often you want that to be. Uh, I'm going to say done. And this, what this allows us to do, and you'll see this up above here now, we've got this and it's starting to refresh. So it's going out and doing the rules that we just said. And I think I had no rules. It just says bring the two records that you have. And there, there are the um, two records. A little side um, note, if you're testing this and you want to purge this information out, you're going to find that you can't uh, delete. I go into a record and I come down here. There's no delete. I can't delete this. But if you go into your home button, click on settings, and go over to app management, this exposes you to this area here, delete data. Now be careful not to click that, that's deleting the application, delete data. And now uh, what it asks you for, well, which one do you want to delete? And I'm going to delete this one. And so yes, delete all records. And uh, while I'm in here, um, I'm going to uh, exit the settings, but I'm going to come back in. Settings. Um, I need this for the application level. App management. And we go back down here to delete data. For which table. And now uh, I can say, well, I'm going to delete the Gmail ones. Yes. So it's as if we're just starting this process off. And you'll, you go, you'll find that that's a very handy thing when you're testing through your um, syncing. So that's a way of using QuickBase Sync to be able to pull your email in from Gmail or from Exchange.